welcome everybody to Introduction to Texas Digital Marketing Services and Use Cases. I think you're in the right place because a lot of you have already said you have not used TechSoup Marketing um, Services yet, and we're hoping that you gain some insight so you can um, get on board and see how we can help you. I'm going to show you how you can engage. I know many of you have been to our webinars, but here how here's how you can engage today. Please type your questions in the Q&A section for me. If you have um, any questions and you type them in the chat, I'm sure we'll be able to grab them. This is being recorded, so you're going to get the recording and the slides um, probably by tomorrow. And I want to, if we can go to the slide about Quad, I want to tell you about Quad. I'm not sure if you've heard about Quad yet, but Quad is a new service here at TechSoup. Um, it's where you can do more with your peers. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer community. And when I say peer, it's other nonprofits who are like-minded, who say we need help with fundraising. We need help with, um, we need expo, expert technical support. And so you're in a group together and you can get to know um, other nonprofits who share the same goals as you. And I'm gonna put, I can't put the link in the chat. You're gonna have to click on this link when you get these slides and you'll learn more about Quad. So I'm gonna turn this over to Joe and Lisa from TAP Network. So glad you're here and all yours, take it away. Hey folks, I'm uh, Joe DiGiovanni. I'm the co-founder of TAP Network and um, hailing from New Jersey. So anyone from Jersey, South Jersey, um, hello. And also we have uh, Lisa Quigley. She's our director of account strategy at TAP Network from uh, Lisa calling in from Maryland. So anyway, we're super excited today. Um, just wanted to get past these introductions and we'll, and we'll get right into it. Uh, today's agenda, we're gonna talk about uh, quickly TAP Network, we're TechSoup's exclusive partner for digital marketing and website services. And then we'll kind of go through a quick overview of, of nonprofit digital marketing and, and how it really impacts uh, funding and also the communities you serve and how we can support that. And then there's really two types of services that TechSoup offers in terms of marketing. One is task-driven retainers, more or less for the smaller, mid-sized nonprofits, and then full-service retainers, which is essentially like having a full-time or part-time employee, uh, but you're getting a full team of folks. And that's generally for more of the mid to larger size nonprofits. And then we also have AI and automation services that work into the, the marketing initiatives that we do. So we can we can look at some of those and hopefully we'll have some time for questions and answers. At the end of the, uh, uh, the webinar, we'll send over this deck as well. It'll have all the links and contact and information as well. So let's dig, uh, dig right into it. Whoops. Yeah. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. So if you, if you go, uh, oh, here we go. So just a quick background on, on TAP. We're a, a large scale uh, marketing and technology provider. We do a lot of work in the government space and nonprofit space. And we try to take that innovation to the smaller mid-sized nonprofits that TechSoup serves. So we are the exclusive provider to all the nonprofits that are, are TechSoup members for anything they need in terms of marketing and website development. We also manage the marketing automation and technology behind TechSoup's uh, services in, in over 200 countries. So we manage around three to 400 nonprofits a year for, through TechSoup. So we're super excited to share our experiences with you and, and really refine these offerings. These offerings are based on a lot of the work that we've done with TechSoup through, through the years. So if you go to TechSoup's website, and you click on, let's see if I can move this forward. Yeah, if you go to services and you scroll down, it says digital marketing, or you can even go to website services. All that, all those services are provided through TAP Network through TechSoup. So that's how you can get to the digital marketing services, just to give you an idea. And then these are the services that we provide. Uh, full service, everything from strategy, the branding, the content marketing, to full-on campaigns, whether the campaigns are for engaging your community or fundraising and everything, everything in between. And we'll we'll get into more detail on all of that. 
Great. So when we when we think about marketing, before we really get into the services, we kind of want to talk about the growth cycle. So working with the, all these nonprofits, it's really about it's it's almost like a flywheel effect of if we can help grow your brand awareness, that will help you engage more with the community. And then when you engage with the community, whether you're addressing homelessness, food insecurity, diabetes awareness, you know, whatever that, whatever sector you're trying to serve, it's the communications are really important. And then how do we measure that? So that's where really where a lot of our marketing services come into is looking at that measuring, measuring it, not just to optimize the, the marketing, but then how do we, how do we communicate that impact back to your board, to grant, to, to the grant community and, and funders. And that way you can drive more donations and support. So if we could really get this flywheel moving in terms of marketing communications, that'll help you scale and, and grow your nonprofit. And that's kind of the lens that we look at when we work with nonprofits, whether they're small or large, and, and how can we support this, um, this flywheel. Let's see. So the next slide, I think Lisa. Yeah, awesome. So you may be thinking all of this sounds wonderful, all these services, but how do I know where my nonprofit fits in? Um, how do I know how much I should be spending on marketing and who does what? So when we look at in um, the U.S., all nonprofits, actually about 92% spend on average a year less than $1 million. Um, but 88% of those spend less than $500,000. Um, as a rule of thumb, just in marketing, spending between 8 and 12% of your annual revenue on total marketing expenses um, is, is a good rule of thumb. That's inclu including personnel, any materials, all of your website. And so that may give you an idea of, okay, that's what we're spending. Um, you know, that maybe we have room to improve, but then how do I spend it um, is another question you might be asking. Um, and if you're a one person show, you may be thinking, I have all of these responsibilities from fundraising to leading board meetings, um, educating the public about your mission, educating stakeholders, there's to changing policy. Um, there's so many roles that uh, smaller nonprofits have, so many hats that, that you wear. Um, so where does marketing fit into to these roles? Um, if you look at fund development, and we'll just touch on a few of these, um, digital marketing can really help when targeting messaging to donors, um, to involving stakeholders, we can personalize that message, digital marketing, uh, automate those messages so it takes some of that responsibility off of, off of you. Um, board support and development. Joe's going to go into some great use cases of nonprofits that we've worked with where we've developed member portals. We're working on a website right now where uh, events and meetings and notes can be shared in one place. So it, again, lifts the burden off your heroes of your team, which are your staff members, um, and automates some of this process. Um, I, that's again, operations and technology. Um, digital marketing has a role in, in all of this, the message to your community, fine tuning that message to make sure that it's targeting the audience that you want to reach. Great, thanks Lisa. So when, when we think of digital marketing, the services that TechSoup provides, generally what we do when we work with a nonprofit, we, we look at kind of the two key priorities. One is how are we impacting or communicating to the community? And then the other one is how are we uh, communicating back to the, uh, the board? So Lisa, if you could back up to the previous slide. Yeah. And then, and then the other way is how, how are we driving revenue and funding? So we took two different behavior models when, when we do digital marketing. So if we're trying to drive revenue, fund development, donations, we look at the trans-theoretical theory of, of, of change. 
How do we create the messaging? What are the channels that messaging is going through? And how can we actually get people to take action to make that donation? So when we work with your team, we'll and, and we're really geared towards the fundraising side of the fence, we'll look at these different stages of uh, persuasion and engagement and, and really help you map out your different personas who, who will be funding your nonprofit and the messaging along each stage, the channels to get there. And if you're a larger nonprofit, even the automation or the CRM engagement to, to drive all that. So that's one thing to, to really consider is, you know, what is your communication strategy to drive funding? And then on the next slide, um, you know, before you get to the funding stage of everything, let's see if I can get there. Um, yep. Whoops. Uh, health belief model. Yeah. So the health belief model is, is the kind of the theory that we look at when we're engaging the community. And there's different theories, but again, we're really looking at the personas, the demographic variables, psychological characteristics, and then putting a campaign together where we can really get people to quit smoking or to seek help if, if, if they have an alcohol problem or get treatment if, if they have cancer or, or engage in positive, healthy behaviors. Again, there's the science of the marketing and we try to really help from the website to your campaigns, get that messaging across so people can take action. So it's really the philosophy we take when we work with our nonprofits. And then on the next slide, and it's the uh, the funnel slide. We we pull that all together. So this is your typical marketing funnel. When we work with uh, TechSoup clients, we'll map out the the funnel for them. And this funnel again could be for funders, it could be for volunteers, it could be for engaging the community. But at each stage of the funnel, top of the funnel awareness, middle of funnel more about education engagement, bottom funnel that's actually the action part or the conversion part, whether they're a donor and they're donating or they are seeking help for a particular challenge that, that they may have within the community. And then the strategy on the right-hand side, from a marketing standpoint, that could be advertising, social media, email marketing, and then the science, there's the different behavioral science models. So that's kind of what we'll look at. And then in the rest of today's presentation, we'll look at two ways to get engaged. One way is through a task-driven retainer, that's for smaller nonprofits, where we can really just help on, a, on an ad hoc basis. And then we'll get into more of the full funnel, which you see here, engagement, where you get access to a team. Great, well, I'll take over on our task-driven retainers. So back when I was mentioning uh, the size of a nonprofit that may be from 200 to 500,000 in proceeds and revenue each year, you may be thinking a task-driven retainer model would work for you and, and why. Um, number one, financial constraints, right? Maybe you're not ready to hire a full-time marketing person or a part-time. You're busy putting on your annual, biannual events and promotions. We need to make sure that these donations are coming in and that your mission is going out before you can um, even think about marketing. These are the, I, I like to say, if there's a if there's a problem, there's definitely a solution. Um, and so we do have some of the, a solution to some of those problems, engaging stakeholders and then finding out when you have those resources, where do you where do you allocate them? Um, so a solution using ta uh, TechSoup's task-based retainer would be cost efficiency, number one. Um, we can provide unlimited design work on a, for the, a monthly fee, which is definitely savings over having that person in-house. Um, unlimited design requests, which will help answer that problem of, Am I getting my message out and does it look cohesive on my minutes to my constituents, on uh, press releases to the public, on our social media pages? Does is everything look the same? So we can help alle alleviate um, some of those challenges. 
and customized design. So you may have an idea or something that's just for your nonprofit that that you'd like to bring to life, but again, may not have the resources or the people on staff. That's something that we can for sure help with. And helping thousands of nonprofits across the globe, uh, like Joe mentioned, we focus on you so you can focus on your, your mission. And back when we were talking, when I was talking about all of the roles that you may have on a day-to-day -day basis, some of the things that we could help take off your plate. Um, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. When you when you see something that's visual and graphic, it communicates itself. So we can help with graphic design services, your brand essence, those custom graphics. And maybe you just need a revision on your website. These are some task-based um, things that we can help with in addition to website updates and maintenance. So that may not be the visual aspect, but it's definitely important for running uh, your website on a on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you have heard anything about SEO, you'll know that the algorithm of Google trying to be at the top of uh, the search engine on page one, it's constantly changing. And we want you to be able to focus on getting your mission out there. So let us handle um, SEO links, all of the back end of, a, of that. In addition to uh, what it looks like and your website, you may just need a landing page. We've worked with many organizations that are putting on virtual events. Um, or, or just need to get a message out. So we've developed custom landing pages that are have the theory that Joe was mentioning to convert your constituent and move them through that, that process. Um, we've also helped with social media design, page setup. These are things, again, that you may be saying, I can do it, I don't wanna do it, I don't have the time, um, but also, we have to keep your much your budget in mind. The next service, task-based service we could help with it is content. Um, people used to say content is king. I don't think that's the right thing to say anymore, but if it, we were thinking about pop culture, like content is equals Taylor Swift. Like it is very important. <laughs> it is all in, all in the news. So to get your message out there, whether it's through an e-newsletter, a blog, um, an email drip campaign, having the right content in there is really content is king. Um, in addition, if there's advertising budget or creative, getting that targeted messaging out through advertising, paid design, paid media, whether it's social media, Google ads, things like that, um, we can certainly help. Maybe thinking, what is what would all this cost be? cost me. Um, we have custom solutions and, a, and flexibility no matter the budget. So essential starting at $4.99 per month all the way up to premium, which is a thousand bucks per month. And you'll see the hours um, associated with each. So that's essentially our task-based retainer in a nutshell. And Joe's going to walk you through some of our examples of wonderful nonprofits that we've actually helped using this retainer. Sure. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, I just want to clarify a few things. So we can do, you know, it's it's unlimited graphics, unlimited content. And the way we work is you, you submit a request. Let's say you need a new graphic template for your social media. We'll create that graphic template, allocate the hours to it, and then your next re then we'll tackle your next request. So it's a queue of requests, and this is really great for smaller to mid-sized nonprofits who, who just need these tasks, and you're managing the bulk of, of your marketing. Um, so now we'll talk about just some use cases of, of where we have nonprofits through TechSoup that, that are using um, the task-driven retainers. The first one is California Operation Lifesaver. We provide blog support, so we'll write their blogs. We also design their newsletter, and in some instances, we will write the newsletter. But for us, more or less, it's helping build that blog page, the blog content, 
and then tying the blogs into the newsletter. So that one is more content marketing focused. And then they have a separate retainer, a task uh, driven retainer for website maintenance and development requests. So they might wanna add a landing page. There's cases where they wanna add different buttons or call to actions. So we'll work against that retainer. So that's California Operation uh, Lifesaver. They work with the railroad system to protect people from, from railway accidents. Uh, the next one is the Association of Women in Science. This has been a TechSoup client of ours for almost five years. They support women in the sciences and helping them uh, get jobs and, and, and really help them support their, their career growth. Um, a lot of support from pharma industry is, is, is behind this and, and different grants. For them, it's a lot of, on the marketing side, it's the website development support and services. So they'll have, they'll be doing their own social media, some of their own paid advertising, but then on the back end, we're helping connect the dots on the website to make sure that the ads are going to the website, the right landing pages, the right lead capture, and then that's leading to their email newsletter. So that's more on the marketing side on, on the website uh, element of, of their communications. Another really great um, retainer based task retainer based client we have is Girl Trek. It's over a million uh, women and beautiful website. And what they do is they get women to walk together, form walking groups. Within those walking groups, there is um, self care uh, information that they share. So the, the it's 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 healthy. It's empowering. There's leadership content. And it's really building a really great sisterhood of, of Black women who can go out and form communities, uh, starting with walking together. So what we do with them is we do a lot of their content marketing, some of their social media templates, and then also website development. Again, they have a team in-house, but when they need ad hoc projects um, or they're, they're hitting capacity, they'll come reach out to us or if they have something more technical on the marketing side to connect the dots, we, we work with them on, on the task-driven retainer there. And we'll have one more uh, that we'd like to share as well, Washington, Washington State Community Connectors. This is a big community uh, nonprofit. We fully manage the marketing elements of their website. So all their website maintenance and updates and we and the Google Analytics and their Google Ads. So tying all those pieces together, we allocate I think around eight hours a month for these folks to help them um, keep all that up to date. Really driving their Google Ads, website landing pages, analytics, and then tying their their marketing into that. Again, they have a, a team there, some great interns, and they use us um, from a task retainer standpoint to help them support their, their paid media buying. So hopefully that was helpful. We just wanted to give you an idea of small to mid-sized nonprofits that uh, that need our services in terms of, of the retainers. So the next type of retainer we have is, um, this is your outsourced marketing and technology team. Th these are for medium to larger nonprofits who are really looking to um, bring in a whole team. So you have your chief marketing officer, designers, developers, and I'll hand this over to Lisa and she'll give you more detail on this type of service that we offer through TechSuit. Absolutely. So as Joe mentioned, this is our second tier, which is more hours. It's more strategy. It's taking a look um, at your, at a nonprofit's goals and aligning a marketing mix and a budget to their goals. Um, this could be using a variety of different marketing channels, social media, paid ads, print ads, um, communication through annual reports uh, to your stakeholders. It could be policy driven. So we're definitely taking a step back, looking at a strategy, determining what channels and campaigns are right to meet your goals. And then all of our decisions are really based on data. Being in the industry for over 20 years, 20 plus years, Joe and I 
uh, worked back in the day when we would just have to say, trust us, marketing works. Now we no longer do that because we have the data at our fingertips, especially when we utilize tools like a CRM, constituent or customer relationship management system, um, or something to manage your website, a content management system. We have the data at our fingertips that says what's working and what's not. Let's move the message. Let's continue to deliver a message that's personalized at the right place at the right time. And we can also scale with your organization, especially at certain times of year when uh, maybe messaging seems to be heightened and then um, at different parts of the year where we can take a break. So definitely we can work with your organization to deliver that right message at the right time. Um, and leaving all of the research up to us on the latest tools and the latest tech technology. We completely take that um, off your plate for you. So as I mentioned, you know, those were some of the the problems that you may be experiencing within your organization, within your marketing team. Um, someone mentioned that they just started up their marketing team again, but they're not quite sure where to allocate their resources or allocate certain funding. So we've worked with many nonprofits again to come up with that um, strategy and plan that out at collaboratively uh, with you. We also have a team full of not only copywriters, but graphic design, um, data analysts, and tech that will be able to provide you that cutting edge, that latest um, consultation to make sure that you're hitting your goals. And we, we do that with a framework in mind. Um, and... Joe mentioned the funnel before when we first started talking, but now that you have a, a better idea of our services, he can walk you through um, what those services are in relation to that marketing funnel. Sure. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah. So for for the you know the the full scale marketing services, um, you know we'll provide a team. Think of it as your own chief marketing officer, chief technology officer or a just full full service marketing and technology team. So like like we mentioned before, we'll sit down and we'll work with you. We'll look at your different personas and audiences, whether it's your, you know, your, your funders, the, the folks who are making smaller donations, your peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and we'll we'll basically develop the marketing plan and look at all the different types of um content and channels to meet them. If you're trying to impact your community, we, we work with the Brain Aneurysm Foundation. So we're trying to support awareness of, of brain aneurysms, prevention, um, driving policy. These are completely different funnels, but we'll come up with the marketing and messaging to, to get you there. So that's kind of the approach that, that we take. And oops, Lise, would you mind forwarding this? My computer rose a bit. So yeah, so I'll go into a little more detail here. We'll we'll share this deck, but this is the I just want to give you an example of what we would be looking at when we put together a campaign. So it would be coming up with the strategy, coming up with the design, the messaging, and ultimately the the execution on a lot of this. So from awareness standpoint, that would involve your content marketing, your social media, search engine optimization, your paid ads and public relations. That's really where you're driving awareness of your nonprofit, whether it's funders or, or the community you're trying to impact. We'll put together the, the content and the messaging for, for that stage. And then once we you know have these awareness campaigns going out, the goal is to drive them to the website where we can capture their information and, and really drive interest in education. And that's where we'll start to email newsletters, possibly email drip campaigns, more educational content. They came in because they were excited about what you may be doing, but now let's really help them understand the magnitude of, of, of the mission and, and your cause. And then going beyond just social media posts, but social media engagement, answering questions, liking people back, starting conversations, uh, that's more mid-funnel. And then consideration. 
now that folks are really understanding what your nonprofit does, they may be considering to, to make a donation or to join your board. Or if they're in the community, they might start to consider doing some healthy okay. behavior change. And that's where the emails really turn into drip campaigns. This is where marketing automation comes in. You might have testimonials, case studies, invite people to webinars and events. And that's kind of more mid, mid lower funnel. And then on the next slide, let's see. Got me. Thanks. Um, on the next slide, this is the conversion part. This is where, really where people are making behavior change. They're, they're going to the HIV clinic. They are, you know, starting to quit smoking. They may be, or they're, they're, they make their first donation. Um, and once we get them to become loyal, whether it's loyal to themselves and making that positive behavior change or loyal to your nonprofit in terms of support and funding or maybe volunteering, it's that messaging to really make them become advocates. So that's kind of, you know, kind of a soup to nuts of what we'll do. And, and when we work with nonprofits to really come in and and and, and support them full, full service for, for their marketing and technology. And that could include, you know, website landing pages and, and work as well. So costs, again, it's 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 mainly ours. These are mostly nonprofits in the quarter million, half million or million plus um, round of, of you know, how, what, what their budgets are. And again, it's like the cost of a part-time or full-time employee. In some cases, we have clients that are 30,000 a month, others that are 5,000 a month. It just depends on the magnitude of what they're trying to do. And, you know, it includes, 40, 60 to 80 hours per month of actual us doing doing the work. Each month we get together with you and meet, look at what the needs are, look at the strategy. And then we have your dedicated account manager, program manager, work with you to, to meet your goals. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the scope of, of the retainers for digital marketing. And then we're gonna go into a few use cases real quick. Um, just to show you what we've done. So this is Vituity Cares. They were launched out of the Vituity hospital system. They serve um, about eight to nine different communities around the country, really dedicated to helping people who are um, suffering from health inequity and, and their needs aren't being served in their communities. So we do their marketing for them. They generate a large amount of their fundraising from an annual event. We have Hassan Minaj as a uh, spokesperson and have brought in other folks from Comedy Central who are really dedicated to this cause and pulling all these pieces together. So there's the whole fundraising component. Like I said, a huge part of it is this really big uh, virtual fundraiser they do each year, but then also separate campaigns for each of the communities they serve and all the partners, volunteers, members, physicians, in each community. So multiple campaigns going on at the same time, driving them all to the website into a CRM such as HubSpot and then managing the digital marketing. So we're driving impact, measuring that impact, taking that impact back to the board and funders, especially the big event, which drives you know more funding. So that's Vituity Cares. Uh, the next case study, let's see what we have here. This is really cool. This is the Department of Labor for the state of Delaware. We rebranded um, their OSHA related services, uh, Office of Occupational Health and Safety. So this was a complete reband um, into safety, e safety. So we did all the different branding, the logo design, came up with a new microsite, which you see here, and then all of the graphics and collateral and asset design for their postcards, their print materials, most of their traditional media, and then likewise, all the design for their social media. And now we're in the campaign stage. So again, soup to nuts support uh, for, for a client. In this case, they're reaching out to small businesses and, and employees. So multiple, multiple audiences. And let's see, next one. This is the Tax Foundation. Their marketing is more or less based on data. So we help them build all the databases and the data visualization for all the different um, things that they measure. So this is a complex 
Now, this is on the upper scale, but this is more around how do we use data to, for storytelling? So we take that data and then they relate that data back into their marketing efforts to the general consumer. And that's really where we come in as well as taking this very high level data and then telling the story. And so people can, whether it's advocacy or just the way they manage their, their taxes, getting that complicated information in into the, uh, you know, to the labor force. And let's see, next one. This is a neat one. This is birth control works for me. So this was a whole new campaign that was started from scratch to address birth control, uh, you know, geared towards younger audience, teens, women, and men. This included a whole original brand design, original messaging, Going back to that health belief model graphic that I showed earlier is coming up with the messaging at each stage of the health belief model. So pe people who are really looking not to have, you know, to, to, to help address unwanted pregnancies, to get them to use birth control, to use it safely, to have that conversation with their partner and to be educated on the different types of birth control. So we came up with the brand, the design, and then you know all the communications pushing this out through through multiple channels. So here's an example of you know directly trying to impact the uh, the the consumer. And then yeah, the next slide is kind of what what, what does this look like? So going back to that health belief model or these different funnels, pulling it all together. So we have our messaging on the left, the copywriting. For each, for each headline, the graphic, and then you know what's the health literacy level of the audience we're trying to reach or what language are these in? What's the health belief model stage? I'm going across the top here. What's the funnel stage? Is it top funnel, mid funnel, bottom funnel? So there's a rhyme and reason for all the marketing that we create for our nonprofits to, to get folks to make, you know, engage in positive behavior change Likewise, I mean, this is for, for birth control and STIs, but likewise for, for fundraising, really taking a look at it. And this is what a full service marketing team would do for you. In this case, you know, we try to do this for the cost of a part-time or full-time employee so you can get access to an entire team uh, to make it affordable for, for your nonprofit. Oh, we got one more. This is uh, this is for It's Time. This is for the city of Wilmington. Uh, they were, the narrative was that they were Murder Town USA by Newsweek, and they brought us in uh, their nonprofit that serves the city to really help change the narrative around the city. So we did all the, the branding and the communications to really get people to come to Wilmington, the people that live there to go frequent the restaurants and then reach out to, you know, the, the regional media so people would come visit and even ultimately some place marketing where folks would, would move into the city. So that's more of a tourism place marketing play, but just to give you an idea of the type of, of services that we can, we can do. And we recognize that a lot of folks on the phone are small to mid-sized nonprofits, but again, we, we, our aim is to work within your budget to, to address whatever needs that, that you may have. tools and technology. So lastly, um, for some of our medium, the mid-sized nonprofits, like I mentioned, uh, Vituity Cares and, and the It's Time campaign and some others, uh, TechSoup offers HubSpot at a discount for, for nonprofits. So HubSpot is a marketing automation platform. Uh, it's a CRM, customer relationship management, and it's everything is built in one. So all these campaigns that we were looking at, as you get more complicated and, and integrated, you, you know, you have your fundraising campaigns, your community campaigns, advocacy campaigns, um, we can automate and connect all that. So a lot of, a lot, a lot of folks will ultimately graduate to putting in one of these, putting in a HubSpot instead of having to use all these siloed communication platforms like Hootsuite and MailChimp and trying to tie all these together, HubSpot ties all your digital marketing together. So in some cases, 
we uh, will work with you to get something like a HubSpot integrated to automate your, your marketing. Yep, so this is just a, a screen grab of a particular person, Sarah Gomez. This was the Sussex County, Delaware uh, person. I know we were talking about HIPAA in, in the uh, right-hand column there. We could, we could scrape the HIPAA data so that's not collected, but still deliver health-related content to, to folks. Um, but anyhow, you know, we'll have each person in your database. This is HubSpot and really be able to track all the marketing and automate all that marketing. So if Sarah comes in and she's interested in, in birth control, we're sending the birth control information, but then she might also be interested in STIs and then maybe, um, you know, she needs nutritional support and the nonprofit that's serving her also provides that, then we'll start to deliver nutritional support information. So a HubSpot is great when you have multiple um, communications to an, a, you know, an individual and you're personalizing them, but also when you have multiple audiences that, that you're trying to serve. So that's just the HubSpot piece. And yeah, um, just Lisa, if you wanna give a quick recap, and then we'll, we'll we'll take some questions, but you know, kind of the difference between the task driven marketing and and the full funnel marketing to see if we can you know meet meet your budgets. Yeah, absolutely. So we mentioned various different tasks and op challenges and opportunities to help your organization figure out where to spend your marketing budget efficiently, um, correctly. We can do that, and the task based retainer um, is based on hours, as Joe was mentioning, a ticketing. So we can work with you um, as you grow, starting from 500, going to $1,000 per month from three hours um, to seven hours. And then as your organization grows even more, we can help with that outsource-based marketing, um, helping you with the strategy, choosing the channels to reach your audiences, identifying the right messages and the right timing to reach your audiences. Um, so that is more of our outsourced marketing and technology retainer. And just moving on, we have two amazing resources for you for today that will be included in the presentation links. There are free downloadable guides. The first one is all about that CRM Joe was talking about. It has amazing capabilities to help you stay organized, to help you um, identify and target um, messaging at the right place at the right time. You can download this guide and say, which one is right for me, for my budget, for my purpose, for my goals. Um, the other guide that we have for you is in regards to AI. I'm sure by now it, you've perhaps used AI for brainstorming, for content in your personal or professional life. But as it relates to um, utilizing content generated AI, here is a this is a guide that you can download that will help you with prompts, what prompts to put in to tools like ChatGPT or BARD and how to get that information out so that Again, creating efficiencies. We, we're all so busy. We have a lot to do with minimal resources. Um, so this guide will help you utilize AI to make your organization have a, a greater impact. All right. So now we get to questions. Um, anything else you wanted to add, Joe? Oh, I was on mute. No, love love that if you have any questions, let us know. We got we have the guides for download and we recognize that you know some of these services may be outside of, of your budget, but you know, we really try to allocate budgets for the retainer, for the task driven ones, for the for the smaller folks who are getting started, and then for the larger mid-sized nonprofits kind of customizing some of our services there. So yeah, fire away and we're, we're here to help. We'll, we'll share this deck as well and it's it'll have links to the downloadable guides and our, our contact information too. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna just fire off a few questions. 
Um, the first one from Pat, when we were talking about measuring impact, she asked, um, or they asked, are we available to reconcile impact with sponsors? So, and maybe there's a follow-up question, but how I interpret that are if you have sponsors that may be sending uh, or sponsoring events and you need to include that in your annual annual report, like how can we measure that? And that goes back to the tools and, and the data that we are getting based on um, the tools and technology that, that your organization is using. Yes. Yeah, so um, the greatest, I guess, example would be with that CRM when you're able to put your organize your lists of contacts, whether or not they be um, donors, funders, or community at large, and how much they've given, that is an amazing tool for just having all of that information um, in one spot. You could break it down by on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. There's really um, the sky's the limit at, at tracking, um, tracking that data. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of, well, it's funny with, with sponsors. Some of them just want reach. And if you show them the amount of traffic to your website, you know, if you got 500 folks to your website, that, that could be amazing. But to a funder, that might not be big numbers. But if you, if you blend in a hashtag and measure the reach of that hashtag through your social media and the amount of social media engagement you have and bundle that into your website traffic, then then you might have a number that's more towards the millions, um, which which sometimes it helps in terms of they just want to see bigger numbers, right? But then there's other ways, like Lisa was me mentioning, where they really want to see impact. So for that STI um, campaign we were showing, we were able to show the amount of people that were searching and visiting um, STI testing centers in the state. So you know, by showing that type of impact, that was really helpful for sponsors and funders. So ho hopefully that's helpful. It just it, de it depends on what they're looking for, really. All right. Mark said, I enjoyed seeing those campaign examples. We will be sharing links to those. Um, and how do we set benchmarks for success? Impressions, social. So this sort of follows up on what you were saying, Joe, with sponsors, um, based on what they want to see. But you want to just talk a little bit about how we work with our clients to set benchmarks for success. Sure, we'll we'll have industry standards. You know, so if we're sending emails out, you know, we'll know that a certain open open rate is successful or a certain click through rate from that email. Um, Likewise, you know, from, from a social media perspective, you want a higher sentiment score in the 85 to 90 percent. And it just depends. If you have 10,000 followers, you might want to grow at a 5 percent clip per month. So we'll, we'll work with each nonprofit to really look at, you know, what, what their KPIs are. You know, in some cases, it's strictly, you know, you, you need to pull together the right data to get the funding. And that could just be impressions and, and click throughs. And like I said, in other cases, if you're really trying to recruit X amount of volunteers or hit a goal in terms of fundraising, then we'll work backwards from that. If you want to raise, you know, let, let's say each person on your board, you want to really train them on social media, get, get them set up to do peer to peer fundraising. We estimate each person who actually sets up a peer to peer fundraising. Um, program on their Facebook could raise $2,000 each and we have 10 people on the board. Well, there's 20,000, but then how do we use them to, to bring on other folks? So it's really a lot about working backwards and working the math and, and looking at the analytics and, and, and seeing what we, we can impact. Absolutely. Um, there's another question question on would we be able to give a rough estimate to deploy sales HubSpot, marketing HubSpot, and call center? I think that's inbound um, HubSpot. And are these costs included in our monthly fees? So that is a a wonderful question. And especially like, okay, you know, can this fit my organization? Um, and there, HubSpot does offer discounts for nonprofits and we can work with you work within the budget to see 
um, what you need and provide a quote, again, that's tailored to your organization. Yeah, definitely. There's there's the HubSpot licensing that that depends how many people are in your database. I think that start they're about to raise their prices again, but you're looking at around, I guess, eight thousand dollars a month, um, a year for enterprise level, and then to integrate the integration of all that and setting up the workflows. Generally, that starts around seventy five hundred dollars to to do that one time setup fee. But we would what we really have to do a deep dive. It, it, it could be, you know, with call centers and whatnot, it could be a lot more. But then we would we would price out the integration and then you know the ongoing support if if you needed ongoing support with, with the workflows. So the call center leads, you know, the call center is triggering triggering other types of communications and, and fundraising. Awesome. John asked, what CMS, content management system, do we use? So I'd say primarily WordPress and HubSpot. There may be a few others, but those are really the uh, gold standard that that we use. Any others that you can think of, Joe? No, we generally work with, with those two. Yeah. And that is it on questions. So far, well, hopefully you and everyone enjoyed uh, the presentation as much as we enjoyed putting it together. Um, this deck, deck presentation will be emailed to you along with a uh, link to the live webinar.